morning and this is Pam and you're watching foodcult.tv and we're here in the beautiful city of San Francisco and in a street called Chestnut Street well basically we're in front of this particular shop called Marina Meat and we're here because we want uh, to meet a very special guy in fact uh, his name is David Butworth but he is better known as Dave the Butcher and mm -hmm. he is a celebrity butcher hey Hi. Hi. Hey, Dave. How you guys doing? You always grow up wanting to be a butcher? Um, no, not really. <laughs> I kind of fell into it. Once I started doing it, I really liked it. And so I've been doing it for 20 years now. And just every day I learn more and more. I don't really consider myself a celebrity. I just, I work a lot. And then I do, I go out and do events and, and talk to people. And then people started calling me a celebrity butcher. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a whole different thing. Butchers are always kind of behind the counter. They're not out front. And, and you know, so it's kind of weird to have a celebrity butcher. Butchers don't always go for that. There's a few around the world, like Dario Cecchini in Italy. He's, uh, he's a celebrity butcher. So this is called the scabbard. I carry two six inch knives, an eight inch, and then I usually carry a couple 10 inch. About the pop happy hour that happens at the festive car. Uh -huh. And you know that is really fascinating because we we hear that you actually carve a whole long different uh -huh. world. Tell us more about that. Well what we do is we uh, we do um free appetizers and beer and wine and we do it for an hour and a half every day and what I do is I bring out a half I do whole and half pigs we go through two to three whole pigs a, a night and then what I do is I cut them for special order to people so if somebody say you come in and you say you want a you want a loin roast so then I cut it right there and then we season it and we tie it up and you can buy it right there so you can get whatever you want and some people have seen it a lot and some people have never seen it and they get kind of squeamish and <laughs> some people are just really fascinated and like kids love it like I get a lot of kids from the neighborhood like to come watch I think people are coming back around to more um, whole animal butchery and things like that um, I think people are trying to get away from the factory farm meats the you know late 60s early 70s everything kind of went to a centralized factory farming situation where um, butchers are always behind in the back in the wall and they're not and they're not cutting meat from whole animals as much anymore they're getting it already packaged the public is wanting to know where their meat comes from now and, and not wanting meat that's filled with chemicals and antibiotics and raised in gestation crates and things like that people want meat that's more localized and uh, if you'd like to find out more you can uh, log on to his particular blog and website which is www.davethebutcher.com <laughs> 